Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily monitor canopy height using Google Earth Engine platform. So recently one meter resolution data set is available in awesome community catalog for Google Earth Engine. And basically using this data set, we can easily make the canopy height mapping in google earth engine and canopy height maps data set offer the comprehensive insight into tree canopy height worldwide and it's facilitating the precising monitoring of forest ecosystem then carbon sequestration climate change mitigation effort so there are a lot of things we can easily do using the canopy height so today i will show you that how we can easily use this data set in google earth engine and further how we can easily monitor the canopy height and this data set is available for worldwide and it's very high resolution only for the one meter so let's go just i simply open my code editor and try to show you that all of process how we can easily use it and create the canopy height map so basically here you can see this is that awesome g community catalog so basically uh, recently it's published this data set and we can easily uh do using this data set to making making the map of canopy height so in this time, I just use this data set from here and further I use in my Google Earth Engine code editor. So here you can see I already create this type of canopy height mapping. So basically you can easily find out that this type of trees is the high canopy height. Okay. Also I can see at the least end, this type of least end. So that's we can easily identify about that overall mangrove forest in Sundarban, what is the canopy height. We can easily get it from here. As well as how I do that, so you can see basically it's very easy. First of all, you can simply import your boundary shape file, and further you have to import your canopy height data set. So here you can see this data set mainly come from this uh, awesome GE community catalog data catalog. We can get from this data set. So we are just simply copy this data set link here. You can see we can easily get this canopy height EMS collection. This is our data set. I simply copy that, and first uh, further simply paste in our um, code editor and further we are simply filter bounds with our study area and also clip and also make calculate the canopy height so here you can see just only for this code we can write and easily create the very beautiful canopy height map and further we can easily create the different types of analysis such as we can easily do for the forest ecosystem carbon sequestration and climate change mitigation the type of things we can easily do this is defined on the canopy height okay so now if you want you can also export this canopy height map and we can easily make the map in arc map or user software so basically this is the process basically this data series is totally ready-made data set for monitoring the canopy height and it's very high resolution we can get that one meter resolution and this data set is available for the globally so that's why you can easily use the data set for any region okay so today is no more thank you for asking that stay happy stay safe so if you want to join this online training program on Google Earth Engine for 7 days, so you can simply complete your registration. For that, you can simply contact in this WhatsApp number as well as you can also contact with this email. So I already add all of those things in the video description. Then you can simply check it and then you can easily join our upcoming best online training program. So basically this class will be start from then uh, 17 May. And admission last that is the 15 May. And first 10 registered people will get the 50% discount on this online training program. And basically, in this online training program, you will learn all of those things which you need to start the journey with Google Earth Engine platform. If you have no knowledge about the coding, mainly JavaScript or Python, don't worry about that. In this online training program, you are able to learn all of those programming languages such as JavaScript or Python. So here you can see I already added all of those course content, mainly what you will learn after completing the total seven days online training program. If you want, you can also check all of details from my video description. I already added all of things in my video description. So when you want to join this live training program, you can get some benefit after submitting all of assignment. You can get the course certificate. You can get that all of materials, mainly slide PDF. You can get all of practice code. Okay. And you can also get the recorded class. Suppose if you miss any live training session, you can easily cover using the recorded class. As well as you can also get the lifetime teaching support. It's very important as a beginners because when you want to fa uh, face any problem regarding any issue in your code, you can get the lifetime teaching support. Okay. 
so if you want to join this live training session you can simply contact in this whatsapp number as well as also contact with this email and get the 50 percent discount so book your seat as soon as possible after booking your seat you can able to join our google classroom and also join our whatsapp group so thank you